<laughs> Follow Costanza. That you've actually Costanzo. Costanzo. You're screwing everything up. I am screwing up. everything up. Jeez. All right. Follow Costanzo. Paulo Your name is Dan Costanzo. Lapaglia, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Paulo Costanzo, I stand corrected. Um, uh, you're, uh, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, like, what is with Brampton? I mean, between you, you're from Brampton, yeah? Yep. And Michael Sarah. Yep. And Tyler would be, I mean, there's, uh, there's something in the water that drives people into action. It's not the water, it's the fact that Brampton, <laughs> it's going to just bash Brampton. It's, <laughs> apparently it's growing, it's better. I hated growing up there. Yeah. Um, so I think largely for me there was a lot there was a lot of escapist yeah. escape escapism yeah. uh, in my mind like I definitely was not I, I definitely escaped to another land like I got mugged in Brampton I got hit by a car in Brampton I had a pretty rough kind of upcoming but um, yeah I was very happy to escape and, and get as far away as I could. <laughs> now what, what point no is, offense to Brampton now my yes. mom still lives there yes um, but, but, but at what point did you decide acting was that yeah. escape. Um, or did you just segue from having an active fantasy life to, to making money at it? <laughs> well, my mom went to York University yeah. for, for theater, so she was a, an actress and a dancer. Um, and then she had me, and I think she was she had to get jobs to raise me, so she couldn't pursue her acting career as much as she wanted to. But her that kind of mentality really was very much implanted in me young. She would read me stories and she'd have all different voices. And she made me Muppet shows out of like household items. and So I had that desire, but I was very shy, wow. really shy, uh, to the point of being kind of an outcast. And then I got, and I just always wanted to be heard. Mm -hmm. So one day in high school, uh, it was actually a bully. There was this guy, this guy did something and you know, he humiliated me. And you I really did have a crappy childhood. I had a rough, I had a rough <laughs> upbringing. And I remember thinking at that moment, I'm like, I'm never, that's, this is not who I'm going to be. I don't care. I'm, like, I'm going to be hurt. I don't care. Right. And, then, and then there was the West Side Story was the musical, Mayfield Secondary mm -hmm. in Caledon. And uh, I went out for it. No one thought, like, who's this kid? No one ever heard of me or saw me. Right. And then I landed the lead role. And then everything just kind of started um, rolling from there. And I saw Dustin Hoffman in The Graduate and realized that you don't have to be a tall, handsome, you know, yeah. Cary Grant to be a brilliant actor. Yeah, and they didn't want him for that. They were, they were, they were. They were supposed to be Robert Redford. Yeah, yeah, really, totally different. Yeah, I know. Mike Nichols was a visionary. Uh, and had had uh, you've had a very successful career, sort of specializing in brothers. Uh, the, 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 the two. Uh, between Not Joey's brother, nephew. I was his nephew. His nephew. But it, 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 yes, I am totally Roommate. throwing up this interview. No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> but I, roommate yeah. in Forty Days and Forty Nights. Nephew yeah. in. Little brother, yeah, that's yeah. been a You're the pal. You've been the pal all yeah. this time. Um, the good thing about Royal Pains this season, yeah. specifically the second season, which is airing here now, yeah. first season I very much was the charming, funny, yeah. kind of annoying, superficial yeah. younger brother. Yeah. Second season, the writers really decided to evolve the character, yeah. and they really, you know, I was growing up as a person, and I moved to New York. You know, I, I have a wife now. Like a lot, I was moving forward in my just as being a human, and they yeah. tapped into that and wrote into the character. And now he, instead of being the little brother guy, I have my whole, I have my own story. Second yeah. season, I have my own. I have a love interest. Evan falls in love for the first time oh. with Brooke Dorsey, is the actress's name. Met her, and I was like, cool, talking about you know just random stuff, and I said, so where are you from? She's like, I'm Canadian. I'm like, oh, no way, where are you from in Canada? She's like, I'm from Brampton, Ontario. I'm like, another one. No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, she was born in Peel Memorial, which I grew up, I, I Holy grew cow. up like three miles away. Wow. So, um, that's on. awesome too, you know, right. so Canadians watching the show, there's two of us on the show. Good to know. Um, Good to and, know. and yeah, I feel, I feel like the character has evolved, even like Third season, hopefully this, hopefully everybody watches this second season. So you get third season's even better. It just it gets progressively so much better. You don't have to watch the first season to enjoy the second yeah. season yeah. either. You can get right in there. It's yeah. so much better anyway. You don't even you don't have to watch the first yeah. season. Yeah. But and, and again, all the setup and exposition was really contained in that first episode. You knew exactly what was going on. The, the great thing is, and this happens with good writers and good actors.